Today, we are going to have a look at how we can write a mixed number like this one as an improper fraction. So, let's pretend we've got one whole fizzer bar, chocolate bar, whatever. Let's talk about fizzer bars. If we have one whole fizzer and we want to see what three and four-fifths of them will look like, let's try and draw a picture. Now, we know that if we've got three and four-fifths of a fizzer bar, we'll definitely have one, two, three fizzer bars, and we'll have a little bit extra. So that's why I've drawn four here. When we come to colouring it in to depict three and four-fifths, colouring in the three is very easy, right? We've got three. Now we've got to colour in the four-fifths. Well, obviously, if I need to colour in four-fifths of this last fizzer bar, I must divide it up like I have into five pieces. So I've cut it into fifths, and now I want to have four-fifths. And so my picture looks like this. So here is a picture of three and four-fifths. One, two, three holes, and then four-fifths of another hole. How can we then write this as an improper fraction? Well, what we need to do is have everything in terms of fifths. So let's cut up all our fizzer bars into fifths. And this is what it would look like. We can then see quite easily that what we have is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We've got 19 fifths. So 3 and 4 fifths is the same as 19 fifths. Let's just look again at how we would calculate how many fifths we have in this picture. Each of the whole fizzer bars is made up of 5 fifths. We have got 1, 2, 3 of these fizzer bars. So in order to calculate how many fifths we've got in those three whole fizzer bars, we say 3 multiplied by 5. So 3 multiplied by 5 will give us those number of fifths. But then there were 4 extra from here, so we have to add it on. So our total is 3 times 5 is 15 plus 4, which gives us the 19. And let's see how we could easily see that in here. 3 times the 5 to get the number of fifths in the whole fizzer bars plus the four little extra ones that are there. Gives us 19. Okay, open your homework books and do this question. Turning, first of all, color in two and three quarters in those um, diagrams that you're given and then write two and three quarters as an improper fraction. Pause the video and do it now. All right, your answer should look something like this. You've colored in two full ones and three out of the four in the next. How many quarters are there in total then? Well, to work that out, we are going to say two multiplied by four, which will give us how many there are here. In other words, two times by four. And then we need to add on these little three extra. So this three extra plus, oh, let me get a pen, plus 3, which gives us 11. And so we've got 2 and 3 quarters written as an improper fraction is 11 quarters. Okay, so now we want to get away from having to draw the picture each and every time that we do it. So what we're going to do is just use the little trick we've seen, which is that you say 2 times 4 to get the number in the whole ones and add on the three little extras. Let's have a look at a few examples. So what 7 and 2 thirds is an improper fraction? Well, to do that, we are going to say 7 multiplied by 3, which gives us 21. And then we're going to add on the 2. So we're going to say 7 times by 3, add on the 2, 
and we're still dealing in thirds. So we have 21 plus 2, which is 23 over 3. Or if we had 6 and 3 tenths, here we would say 6 times 10. And then we need to add on those little 3 extra. So we need to add on those 3. And we're still dealing in tenths, so we will have 63 over 10. Okay, quickly try the last one yourself. Let's pause the video, turn 4 and 3 fifths into an improper fraction. Your answer should look something like this. You should take 4 and multiply it by 5 and add on 3. You're still dealing in fifths. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 3 gives us 23 over 5.